We will be reviewing how to utilize subclips and swallow detection in the TIMS MVP 5.0 software. As you can see, I have a hypothetical fee study pulled up here in my TIMS MVP workstation. To begin, I will draw your attention to the toolbar at the top part of the screen. If you click on the series tab as shown and click on detect swallows, you'll notice that along my green timeline here on the bottom part of the screen, there are small gray ticks appearing in the timeline. These small gray lines are indicative of a swallow occurrence. If you're like me, then you may record an entire fee study with no breaks in your recording. By this, I mean that you are recording the entirety of the study without pausing in between trials or other occurrences. In this case, swallow detection can be beneficial because it helps us speed up our assessment and editing process instead of having to go through and figure out where the trials occurred and where the swallows occurred. TIMS MVP provides us with this information with swallow detection. So let's say that I want to create some of these shorter clips and really only isolate pertinent information. I can easily do so first by scrubbing through my video to assess what it is that I'm wanting to obtain and then by creating subclips. So I'm going to go ahead and right click here and I'm going to start dragging my cursor as shown. What you may notice is that I have a white overlay here, as you can see, and I can create this into a shorter subclip by clicking on my camcorder icon here. And if you don't see this, go ahead and open your toolbar by clicking the arrow here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my camcorder. And as I do so, I am prompted to label this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just label this subclip one and click okay. So now on my left hand side of my screen, you can see that I have a shorter subclip and I can go ahead and play through it. And you'll notice that as the circle approaches those grayed out areas, that is when a swallow occurs. We hope that this video was helpful. For more information, please reach out to us.